everybody. Let's use the method of sections to solve this problem. So we're trying to figure out the axial forces in members B, C, C, F, and F, G. Okay, so it maybe looks obvious that we should cut our section like this. Okay, now just for practice, the section on the left will look like this, where this is BC, CF, FG, but then let me pick coordinates. There's a pin at A, so I'm going to decompose the reaction at A into components. There's a roller at E. Okay, so the left side section has six unknowns. The right hand section will look like here, there. Okay, so this is BC, CF, and FG, but then there's also the 100 kilonewton load on that side. Okay, so the left-hand section has six unknowns. The right-hand section has three unknowns. Which one would you rather solve? Like this one, we definitely don't have enough equations to solve. So then how would you get three more equations? You would have to take the free body diagram of the whole structure. And then for the whole structure, there's a pin, a roller, and the load. Right, and then you can write three equations for this free body diagram, three equations for this free body diagrams, then you would have six equations, six unknowns. No problem. But I think I would rather solve three equations for three unknowns. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this section. Okay, so for this one, let's write in the x direction. Oh, well, let's see, do we know this angle? Okay, so one, so, okay, so here to here is one, here to here is one, so that's 45 degrees. Okay, so theta is 45 degrees. Okay, so x direction. I have x going here. So negative TBC, negative TFG, negative TCF, cosine theta. Right, y direction. Negative TCF sine theta, minus 100 kilonewtons. All right, now let's sum torque about somewhere clever. So if I sum torque about, let's say, here, then there will be torque from this force and this force. If I sum torque about here, then there's torque from this one, this one, and this one. If I sum torque about here, then there's no torque due to either of these, only this one and this one. So I'm going to pick this point as my clever choice. So sum torque about point... This is point C, right? Yeah, point C. Okay, so the torque about point C is from this force, which the lever arm here is one meter, which will cause torque going this way, which is in the negative Z direction, because Z is this way, so negative. And then there's torque from this, which is going this way, also in the negative direction. And see this line of action? This lever arm is, how far is that? One, two, two meters. 
Okay, equals zero. So there we go. Three equations, three unknowns. Let me underline the unknowns here. Okay, so then I would solve right this one for T C F and then substitutes right here. So this one for T F G substitutes right here and then solve for the remaining unknown. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you on the next video.